Coach, what was the difference with the offseason this year after a disappointing season last year? Well, a big difference, Coach. You know, obviously, offensively, we made a major change at the offensive coordinator position. Uh, we bring in a couple of transfers on offense that uh, are obviously making a big difference with Peyton and John Rain. So a ton of, ton of change before we even start talking about the, uh, the COVID pandemic. I heard you on the big show the other night talk about how during the offseason, you spent a lot of time as a staff building relationships, building trust, building communication, learning how to listen better. Yeah. Give us some examples of how you did that. Well, first and foremost, we just uh, used uh, the Zoom medium. I mean, at the end of the day, we looked at the pandemic as an opportunity to build better relationships with our players, and we, we listened to them. I mean, as we talked you know, through this process, obviously, uh, it, it, it was def definitely something that we lost last year. We lost trust. And you do that by communicating, and a big part of that communication is by listening. And I think we did a much better job of that as a staff. And then obviously being empathetic and making changes through communication with our players that, you know, they saw that we really needed to make, understand why uh, they felt that way, and then just work through it together. And, uh, you know, really proud of the staff. That type of, you know, rock-solid trust happens through communication and time and, and then just working through experiences. You mentioned the pandemic. Tell me something in the day-to-day -day operation that has changed because of COVID? Uh, everything, uh, you know, different meeting rooms, spreading guys out social distance wise, uh, the way that we go into the athletic training room in different cohorts, uh, team meetings are on Zoom or in our, our beautiful Ryan Field house here in Wilson Field. Uh, things are very different, coach. I mean, the day to day is completely different than it typically would be. Nebraska's only played one game, uh, but from the one game, how are they different from the previous years? Well, defensively, you know, they're fitting gaps, they're tackling well, they're playing with great effort, uh, and, and they were flying around and had a great opportunity there at the end of the first half, uh, and the game kind of changed there against the Buckeyes and obviously credit Ohio State. Uh, but uh, offensively, it's the explosive tempo, unbelievable athletes, challenges schematically. We're going to have our hands full Saturday, there's no doubt. What do they do best on offense, and what do they do best on defense? Start with offense. Yeah, offensively, I, you know, obviously I think it's the quarterback play. You know, now that they're playing two, it puts a huge challenge on you. Uh, and, and then the explosiveness of all the playmakers that they have on the offensive side of the ball. And I think they're really physical up front on the offensive line. Defensively, they're multiple. They put a lot of challenges on you with different fronts, coverage scheme. And I think their talent is, is really, really spectacular too. Coach, we always appreciate your time. Thanks for taking a walk with us. Always great taking a walk with you, Coach Denardo. Appreciate you, buddy. Go Cats.